This is the story of one of Ireland's greatest legends, Coo Cullen. It's a story you might think you know, but you don't. Like all good tales, this one takes place long ago, back when the land was still full of magic and mystery. It was in the Ring of Gullion, where the provinces of Ulster and Leinster meet, that a young boy named Satanta would pass the time hunting, fishing, and playing hurling by himself. Satanta dreamed of becoming one of the legendary warriors of the time, the Red Branch Knights. These were elite fighters, whose determination and focus was matched only by their love of chariot racing. It's neck and neck as they come to the final turn. Pagan Bulls pulling ahead of Dragon's Breath. They are going hell for leather, and the winner is, it's, it's Dragon's Breath. However, before you could join the Red Branch Knights, you first had to join the Makra. These were essentially the junior Red Branch Knights. Whoa, boy! So that's exactly what young Satanta decided to do. Bye, Mum. Bye, Dad. I'm off to join the Makra. That's great, dear. Satanta had walked a long, long way. Finally, he emerged from the forest and saw his destination, the Makra. A hurling match was already underway. Hmm. Although much younger, it didn't take him long to dazzle the others with his skills. Yes! Not bad. A delighted King Connor of Ulster ordered the rules be changed to allow the young boy to join the Makra. Hey, where do you think you're going? Huh? Let him through. Thanks, Uncle Connor. Uncle, what a fix. Boo! Yes, Boo! it's true. Boo! King Connor was Satanta's Boo! uncle. Uh -oh. But I think you'll agree that Satanta earned his place. Woo! That was brilliant. Bet you can't beat that. <laughs> Let me have a go. And here we are at the final round, where we await the decision of the judge. It seemed there was nothing he couldn't do. Perfect! We have a winner. We have ourselves a winner. King Connor invited Satanta to a feast at his friend Cullen's house later that night. Whoa there, Bessie, whoa. That's it. Back a little, back a little, yep, yep. Here we go. <laughs> Delivery. Oh yeah, pizza's here. Yeah, so that's two cow tongue, one lamb's eye, and a margarita. Now, unfortunately for Satanta, Cullen owned the most fearsome guard dog in the land. No, not that one. Oh, phew. That one. Uh oh. Hey, what the heck's going on out here? Oh no, Tiny! What did you do to my poor, beautiful Tiny? How's the boy still alive? He, uh, gets that from my side of the family. What am I gonna do? Who's gotta protect me from politicians and charity collectors? It was then that Satanta had an idea. I'm sorry about Tiny. I'll be your new guard dog. You got yourself a deal, kid. And so it was that Satanta earned his now legendary name, Ku Cullen, which translates as the Hound of Cullen. 
not sleeping in there, though. The name Cúcullan stuck. Every night he would return and guard the house of Cullen. In time, he grew to be a strong and brave Red Branch Knight known throughout the land. The next chapter of Cú Cullen's story begins far away in the west of Ireland, in the castle of another Irish legend, Queen Maeve. Maeve took great pride in her trophy room, which boasted a range of magnificent animals, all except one, a bull. And there was no finer bull in the land than the one owned by King Connor of Ulster. Hello? Connor, it's Maeve. Listen, I want a lend of that bull of yours. Oh, I don't think I can do that. Connor, you lend me that bull or I'm just going to take it. Oh, uh, sorry Maeve, Connor, you're breaking up. Con- uh, gotta go, Connor, gotta go. Connor, Connor, <sighs> Assemble my armies. Meanwhile, back in Ulster, Coo Cullen was busy proving himself the greatest warrior the Red Branch Knights had ever seen. <coughs> However, even he would be pushed to his limits with the arrival of Queen Maeve and her army. Huh? <gasps> no one hangs up on me. Let's do this! A curse on the men of Ulster meant that all but Cú Cullen fell ill. Okay. Believing the odds to be in her favour, Maeve agreed to allow her greatest champions to fight Cú Cullen one by one. Who's next? Her champions were dropping like flies, but Maeve had saved her greatest for last, Ferdia. Uh-oh. Ferdia and Cú Cullen had been best friends in childhood. Queen Maeve tricked Ferdia into fighting, but that's another story. Round one. And so began Fight. a mighty duel. Yeah. Cú Cullen wins. Round two. Fight! Despite the ferocious battle, a true friendship still existed between them. Each night the two warriors would treat each other's wounds before returning to fight the next day. Round three. Fight! Yeah! Finish him. Kukulin wins. In one last valiant effort to keep Maeve's forces at bay, Kukulin, knowing the end was near, tied himself to a nearby rock and drew out his sword. And it worked too. For days, Maeve's army were terrified to get too close. Go check it out. You go check it out. What say we send the new guy? And so our story ends. These tales of bravery were passed down from generation to generation, from old to young, near and far, forever remembering the mighty deeds of Cú Cullen. <laughs>